that just get a lot of Sarah. <laughs> Uh, this, this one's Sarah. This one's Frisky. <laughs> this is Frisky. Is that his name? You know, ladies and gentlemen, if, if you've watched our show yesterday, you'll know, you might remember that Sarah and I are current champions. Sarah is the current champion. Sarah Evans and I had quite a discussion. She has about a million pets in the house. She and her family just love all these various little animals. She was telling us about her little monkey, and, and uh, we asked her if maybe she could bring one of her pets down. So I see she brought little Frisky down. Is this cute? Can we get a little close-up of this little... Is that adorable? Huh? We can't. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Is that the cutest thing in the world? Sarah, what's this you got under him? What is this? It's a diaper. <laughs> That's a diaper? Sure, it's a diaper. <laughs> I was wondering what. How old, how old is uh, Frisky? Four years old. Four years old. He still wears a diaper. <laughs> He's worse than my kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's the same as my 16 year old. You know, I. <laughs> Anyway, that's a, he's very cute. What a, oh, look at that. Is that adorable? What, is, what does a little monkey like that uh, eat? How do you feed him, I mean? Well, he sits down at the table with us. He's I, just what we do. I beg your pardon? He sits at the table with you? Sure. The whole family just sits around. You put a little frisky down, too, and he eats right with you. How about that? Tell me, does he ever complain about your children's manners? <laughs> no, but I do. <laughs> you do? I got a five-year-old son eats an eight-course meal without taking his hands out of his pockets. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe Frisky would like to come over and have lunch with Howard someday because we feed Howard in a tree anyhow. You know, we don't allow him in the house yet. Oh, he's really adorable. What does he eat? What does little Frisky eat? Well, let's see. This morning he had uh, eggs and bacon and some pancakes, <laughs> orange juice and a glass of milk and uh, toast. And toast. Well, of course, you can't leave that out. Just a normal little breakfast this little <laughs> thing ate, right? Is that cute? Same type of breakfast I had. A little monkey like that. Did you ever see a breakfast there? <laughs> Know what I had this morning? Glass of water, room temperature, and a slice of lemon. <laughs> I still can't straighten my <clears throat> He must be a wonderful... He must, he must be a wonderful pet for the children, though, isn't he? He really is, Jen. You'd be amazed. He gets down on the floor and rolls around with them and plays with them. Yeah. He'd be amazed how intelligent he is. I wouldn't be amazed how intelligent he is. Boy, you can just see it. Look at that, look at that face. Look at those eyes. You can see how bright and alert he is. Well, Sarah... We're going to meet the Mrs. Baker, say hello to her for a moment. So I'll tell you what, would you deliver uh, Frisky over to one of our uh, stagehands? I'm sure Frisky will recognize that fellow over there. <laughs> we, uh, you see, we have a rule here on our show. We don't allow contestants to take experts into the booths with them during the commercial. So if you'll just deliver them, just, just, just for a moment, then allow us to meet Mrs. Uh, Bessie Baker. Oh, what's the matter? What's all look he wants his mommy? Did you hear him cry? <laughs> oh, but then he recognized Uncle, so he kept quiet. All right, <laughs> Bessie, <laughs> how are you? How are I'm you, Mrs. Fine. Baker? I want to welcome you to our show. Forgive me, I didn't mean to be impolite, but we kind of had to pay attention to oh, Frisky yes. here, you know. <laughs> he kind of steal a show. He had a, well, you're from uh, uh, Parkersburg, West Virginia, yes. is it? Uh, may I call you Bessie? Yeah. Thank you, because, you know, we call everybody here. We all call each other mm -hmm. by our first names, so we get kind of friendly. Do you have a family? Yes, I have uh, five children and nine grandchildren. I have five sons, all married. Oh, boy, you really got a big, wonderful mm -hmm. family, huh? I guess it must, be, uh, must have been pretty hectic bringing up five boys, huh? Oh, it was fun. That's always happened all my life, funny incidents. Uh, funny things are always happening to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I wish something would happen on this show. We could use a few <laughs> funny incidents. And... What kind of... Can you think of a few of the funny incidents, or even one? Oh, the craziest thing. Did you ever have a cow sit in your lap? <laughs> did I ever have a cow sit on my lap? No, but I once did the cha-cha with Jackie Gleason. That's pretty... Oh. Uh... <laughs> but that is pretty funny, though. Your cow sat on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think of any other funny incidents? Well, uh, there was a time I almost broke my toe. You almost broke your toe? Yes. What happened? Well, I was working out in the garden, had a pair of snakeskin shoes on, and uh, I thought I saw a snake, so I grabbed a hoe and swung at it, and it's a good thing I didn't hit it too hard because it was my own toe. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, see what you mean. <laughs> Look at all the cups. You know, it sounds like some of the handy, handy things I do around my house. Yesterday, my wife told me to uh, dig up a few tomatoes. And, uh, boy, did she get mad. I brought home four pirate girls. Anyhow, we're going to have a... We're going <laughs> to... I just happened to see you standing there, and you came in for a good joke, Barry. Very good. You're going to get more money, more money. You'll get money. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to start our quiz in just a moment now, ladies and gentlemen. But first, here's a message from NBC. 
There's one minute to complete this jigsaw puzzle, and the solution is the great lineup of shows Friday evening on NBC. Fit the first one into place, and it's truth or consequences. That's Lou Costello wondering what his penalty will be on this hilarious quiz show. The second is no puzzler. It's M Squad, starring Lee Marvin. This Friday, a routine amnesia case takes an unexpected twist when the victim turns out to be a convict's widow. Only she can reveal the hiding place of the $250,000 he had stolen. You won't want to miss M Squad. Does the third one confuse you? Well, that's Nora Charles as Alice in Wonderland, a wonderland populated by some very strange people. Nora inadvertently buys a stolen rare edition, and these sinister characters try to get it back from her. Fantasy turns into stark reality on The Thin Man, starring Peter Lawford and Phyllis Kirk. See how easily the pieces fit together. Truth or Consequences, M Squad, and The Thin Man, all Friday evening over most of these NBC stations. And now, my, uh, my friends, it's time for our quiz. <laughs> oh, we got a fine floor, Direct. You don't want to tell me when we're on, huh? I'm just going to fight futilely looking for the red lights, which is kind of low and I can't see them. You don't want to give me a signal when we're back on, huh? It's a different union. He's not allowed to talk. How do you like that? My director's not allowed to give me a signal when the red lights is on. It's a different union. We have a fella here for red lights? All right, shoot Huey over there. And I'm, I don't mean with the camera. I mean with a real gun. We, uh... There's a director with the earphone. I... There's our boy with the nice thing. I think he's listening to a different show. Anyhow, uh... Right now, girls, we're going to have our quiz. Now, Bessie, in as much as you're the challenger on our show, and uh, Sarah's been on uh, three, two, two different uh, treasure hunts, haven't you? Yes, and as our champion, been on two different treasure hunts. We always allow the challenging contestant the uh, privilege of selecting the category. So, Pirate Girl, would you bring the list of categories out for this morning? Bessie, here we are. We have five categories this morning. TV westerns, famous dates, animal life, popular music, and the armed forces. I believe I'll take animal life. Animal life? Well, all right. Well, you know this gal. Yeah, she got about a million animals in that. I'm afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> but I see you've had quite a few experiences with animals yeah, yourself, yeah, huh? That's right. With the cow sitting yeah. on your lap and breaking your toe, thinking it was a snake. All, that. all right, I'll ask you each five questions on animal life. Each correct answer is worth $10. The winner and the winner only will have the right to go on a treasure hunt. Good luck to both of you. Bessie will start with you. What is the correct name of the American animal we erroneously call the buffalo? Bison. Bison is right. Ten dollars. The word pinto literally means painted, but in the United States, what kind of animal is usually called a pinto? Uh, a pinto is a small horse, about pony size. I That's out. That's right. Horse or pony is fine. Your second question, Bessie. A group of sheep is called a flock. What do we call a group of fish? School. School of fish is right. You have twenty dollars. What is the correct name for a group of wolves? A pack. A pack is right, and you have twenty dollars. What is the correct name for the pen or coral? Or corral? <laughs> corral. <laughs> coral. <laughs> or corral in which we keep sheep. That's a fold. A fold is right. You have thirty dollars. Rabbits are sometimes kept penned in a hutch, but what is the correct name for a piece of ground set aside for the breeding of rabbits? A Warren. Warren is right. It happens to be my son's first name, and that's. Really... <laughs> and I think we're going to breed some rabbits in his pocket or so. All right, four. Your fourth question. If dogs are called canines, by what similar adjective do we refer to horses? Equines. Equines is right. You have $40. That's very good. In the same way, what adjective is applied to cows? Bovine. Bovine is right. You have $40. We have a tie going into the fifth and last question, so think carefully before answering because this can be the deciding one. Best. You got your fingers crossed under the thing, and you're right out here. Oh, here we go. Both of them are like this, you know. What is the correct name for a male rabbit? Um, I'm not going to tease you. What, uh, <laughs> you. Would you talk up, please? Back. Your buck is absolutely right. That's right, my dear. Now, what is the correct name for a female whale? Cow. A cow is right, and we have another tie. How about that? Tie. Well, we have the first tie between you two very charming contestants. I'm happy for both of you because it means you both go on a treasure hunt. Bessie, we don't like to break the champion's luck, you know. So we'll allow Sarah to go first, and you will go on your treasure hunt, and then we'll have another quiz, okay? So would you please just wait backstage? A pirate girl will show you where. Sarah, congratulations to you. Not only one additional $50, more important, you won the right to go on a treasure hunt again. Come with me, and we'll go to our treasure cove. <laughs> 
Well, here we are, back in our treasure cove, sir. We have 30 treasure chests here, and each one of these chests is filled with a different treasure. In one of these treasure chests, there's a one-week all-expense paid vacation for two in Las Vegas, Nevada. And with you, you'll take the Polaroid Land camera, the only camera in the world that produces a finished picture in 60 seconds. Simply snap the shutter, and a minute later, lift out a sparkling picture. In another treasure chest, there's a Columbia True Fit diamond ring with five large diamonds in the setting. Featuring the famous true fit built in guardian angels that prevent twisting and turning and protect against loss. In another treasure chest, there's a fun full vacation in Rio de Janeiro by Varig Airlines. You'll travel aboard a Varig Super G Constellation, enjoying the finest food and wines, and the luxury of six Varig cabin attendants constantly at your service. In another treasure chest, there's a magnificent 1958 refrigerator, compliments of real lemon. Handy plastic squeeze lemon. It sits flat, won't roll, tip, or tumble. In another treasure chest, there's a magnificent full-length ranch mink coat worth over $3,000. Compliments of My Sin by Lanvin, the best perfume Paris has to offer. In another treasure chest is a classic English sports car worth over $3,000. Presented by Glamourine, America's finest rug and upholstery cleaner. Makes rugs and upholstery party bright, party clean again in minutes. <laughs> All right, sir. Of course, these are only some of the fine and thrilling and exciting treasures we have in these treasure chests, but we also have some booby prizes in some of them. You know, that head of cabbage, pound of onions, etc. And most important, in one of these treasure chests this morning, there is cash. And this morning, we have $3,900 in cash. It's the largest amount we've ever had in a morning show. Our previous large amount was $3,800. Now we have $3,900 in cash. And one of these treasure chests is waiting to be discovered. Good luck to you, Sarah. Which one do you select? Uh... Let me try nine. Nine. All right, pirate girl, nine. Sarah, here it is, treasure chest nine. I wonder what's in here. Could be anything. That head of cabbage, furs, jewelry, glamorous trips, automobiles, yachts, 3,900 in cash. You don't know what's in here. I don't know. All these treasures were put in here early this morning, and since then, Sergeant Rivera of the Burns Detective Agency has been standing guard, giggling, and carrying on. So sight and seeing, I'm willing to make a bid for the contents of this treasure chest. Now, how much I bid depends on you. Here is our bid board once again. 100 sealed bids ranging from $100 up. Sarah, my dear, would you please select one? You sure that little monkey didn't give you some of those answers, Sarah? <laughs> he probably knows he it better than I do. smart, boy, I'll tell you that. Oh, you got yourself a powerful bid this morning. $461. Sarah, you know what that means. We'll give you an additional $461 in cash or the contents of this treasure chest. You can't have both. And to help you make a decision, here's Bob Williams to tell you all the things you've won thus far. So far, Mrs. Evans, you've won a complete set of golf clubs and bag, a beautiful golf buckle watch for your husband, a $250 gift certificate for Saks Fifth Avenue, a four-piece set of luggage, a one-week all-expense paid vacation for you and your husband at the Saxony Hotel in Miami Beach, Florida, and the use of a Hertz car during your stay, and waiting for you when you return, a magnificent new baby grand piano for treasures worth $2,700 plus... $150 in cash. How about that? All right, sir. Terrific. Too good to be free. Right. Oh, yes, my dear. It's time for a station break. Oh, is it already, Marion? Good. Well, Sarah, we usually give you 15 seconds to make a decision this time. You I've can take advantage. Yeah, you have about 30, 45 <laughs> seconds, I guess. Well, our stations identify themselves. You think about it, and we'll come back, and we'll get your decision, okay? All right, stations. One, two, three, and three. Great. We'll be back with Jan and his contestants in Treasure Hunt right after this message from NBC. Now, before we join a Treasure Hunt, I'd like to remind you that all the contestants for Treasure Hunt are chosen from our studio audience. So if you'd like to see the show and be a contestant, just write to Treasure Hunt, NBC Tickets, New York, New York. And now, here again is the star of our show, Jan Murray. <laughs> Well, thank you once again, and good morning to those of you who may just have joined us. If you have, you'll know this uh, charming lady on my left is Sarah Evans. She's our current champion. She and her challenger just tied in a quiz. Sarah went on a treasure hunt, selected treasure chest number nine, wasn't it, Sarah? Mm -hmm. And we have a bid here of $461. And all during the station break time, Sarah was uh, standing there like this. Says, 
Oh, dear, it had to be $461. Why couldn't it be $4 or something, you know? But anyway, we have a vital decision to make now, sir, and what is it going to be? An additional $461 in cash, or the contents of this treasure chest, which can be anything from a booby prize up to $3,900 in cash. I'm going to take the chest, John. You're going back to the chest? Well, how about this, sir? You stand right there, Sarah. Let me take the first look. So far, you've won some wonderful treasures, haven't you? And I certainly hope that this morning we'll... <laughs> Where are you, Phil, when I'm making all these funny faces? You're on this camera. There's a bright color. Sure, you know I picked up the chest. It's only nine months. Every single morning, it's the same thing. So you put that camera on. Where were you watching? The monkey backstage? So what are you covering with? Well, listen. Oh, well. You mean to say the monkey really had a breakfast that big? I just can't believe a little monkey eating all that food. is isn't hard, really. It is if you got my teeth, I'll tell you that. <laughs> But, Sarah, you won one of the most fabulous and most beautiful creations you have ever seen in your life. And this is novel, and it's new, and it's, it's the newest thing. It was just advertised in Vogue. Do you, do you read Vogue Mag... Ow! Do you read Vogue Mag... You read Vogue magazine, and you probably have seen this wonderful advertisement. You won this truly elegant Orlon cape. I want you to take a look at that. That's just the advertisement that appeared in Vogue. Now, this is the exquisite lush cape that was shown in Vogue, specially designed by the Haas Varanowitz, and this up-to-the-minute Orlon wrap is perfect for evening wear. This is really something. Boy, we're gonna... Wait till you see this, you'll just love it. Now, when you go out in the evening, to complete the elegance of your wardrobe, you've also won... Another yeah, fat... More. You ate more, huh? <laughs> you won one of the most exquisite diamond and sapphire watches ever made. Take a look at that. All right, can you see that? Diamond and sapphire watch. It has 20 round diamonds and 11 perfectly matched genuine star sapphires. This magnificent watch has been especially created by Lucien Picard, outstanding jeweler since 1837. Sarah, congratulations. You just won treasures worth over $1,300. How about this gal? She's really so sexy. Well, we'll hold this watch for you. Now, wait till you see this beautiful Orlon cape. It's completely new style. It's just magnificent. We're thrilled and happy for you, Sarah. Go on over now. Talk to Frisky a little bit. <laughs> Tell him about your good fortune and your opponent will go on a treasure hunt and then we'll have another contest, okay? Good, Sarah. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Belle, Bessie Baker. I'm sorry. But... You know, for one fast moment, I was thinking of a very dear old friend of mine, Belle Baker, God rest his soul, a great, great artist. Would you come with me? Bessie, we'll go right to our treasure cove. Oh, here we are, Bessie. It's the first time you've been here. Now, we have 29 treasure chests left. Of course, some of them contain the most fantastic treasures you ever dreamed of owning. We still have a few booby prizes in here. And, of course, that 3,900 in cash is still up here waiting to be discovered. Good luck to you, Bessie. Which one do you select? Well, uh, the 19th of April is our wedding anniversary, so I believe I'll take 19. 19. All right, Bessie. All right, yeah. Well, Bessie, I wonder if they put the... Uh, wonder if they put the money in 19 two days in a row. I remember the money was in 19 yesterday, but that's all right. They can do it two days in a row. Because uh, you remember the uh, sergeant of the Atlantic City Police Force? Well, uh, he was defeated in the quiz yesterday, and he was really heartbroken because yesterday was his patron saint's birthday, the 19th, and he said if he had a chance to go on a treasure hunt, he would have taken treasure chest 19. So then at the end of the show, he didn't have the opportunity to go on. At the end of the show, the money was in 19, and that's why I remember it so well. But maybe it's back in here today. You know, it could be anywhere. And, uh, of course, it would be that booby prize or fantastic treasures. We haven't the slightest idea what's here. Bessie, sight and see. We're going to make a bid for the contents of the chest. Would you select one of the envelopes, please? Bids range from $100 up. Oh, all right. Here, yeah, let's see what your bid is. Wow, we've got powerful bids today. 542 now, Bessie, the $50 you won on the quiz is yours to keep forever. That's not involved anymore. But now we'll give you an additional $542 in cash or the contents of this treasure chest. You can't have both, and you have 15 seconds to make a decision. Good luck, Bessie. Think about it. I know 
that's a tough decision to make, Bessie. What is it going to be, an additional $542 in cash or the treasure chest? I believe I'll take the cash. All right, Bessie made a decision. She's taking the cash, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I don't blame you, you know. You never go broke making a good profit, right, Bessie? All right. Now you want an additional $542. And, of course, uh, we're going to show our audience what you turned down in the chest. If you don't want to watch, you don't have to. You know, you really don't have to because the money may be it's back time. in here. Yes. It's time for the home viewers to go on their treasure hunt. Is it already? Uh -huh. All right, Marion. Thank you very much. Would you like to see what you turned down, Bessie? We hate to yes. make you feel bad in case there's something. All right. It's all right? Okay. Let's see what you turned down for $542 in cash. Well, 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 well. Turn down a fantastic treasure for your kitchen. This brand new, beautiful RCA Whirlpool Supreme Electric Range. See? And I'm sorry to say that you also turned down... <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't get out of here. <laughs> you also turned down a fabulous treasure for your bedroom. You turned down a fabulous RCA Whirlpool Imperial Air Conditioner. And you also turned down... A fabulous treasure for your living room. This fabulous Niagara Cyclo Massage Glide-Out Sofa. So, this sofa can be converted into a bed within a matter of seconds. You turn down treasures worth over $1,200, Bessie. But maybe you'd rather have the $542 in cash. Listen, you didn't do too bad. Did you? Even though you turned down some fabulous treasures. Fine and dandy, Bessie. So, uh, uh, my Sarah, would you please come out here for a moment? Bessie, right over this way. I just want to say goodbye to both of you charming ladies, and we hope to see you both tomorrow morning where you'll continue and have another quiz, okay? Have a good day, both of you. Thank you. All right, my friends, in just a moment, one of you home viewers will make you have your chance to go on a treasure hunt and find the $3,900 in cash. But first, here's a message from NBC. And now it's time for our home viewers' treasure hunt. Here's a very beautiful young lady who is in our studio this morning, and she's kindly volunteered to assist us. She'll select a card, and if that postcard contains the number of today's cash treasure chest, then the person who sends it in will win the cash treasure, which today totals is $3,900 in cash. What's your name, dear? Charlie Mary Copich. Charlie Mary Copich? Where do you live, Charlie? Charlotte. Charlotte, I'm sorry. Where do you live, Charlotte? 120 Richmond Road, New Jersey. Richmond Road in New Jersey? What, say, what city in New Jersey? You know? Newark? Trenton? Dover. Oh, Dover. All right, Charlotte, come with me, sweetheart. We have five openings, one for each day of the week. This is Thursday, so we're going to open this. Can you read, Charlotte? No. No? All right, you can't read. Good, but you're covering your eyes. You don't want me to have the thrill of seeing your beautiful blue eyes. Pick a nice card, Charlotte. That's right. Pick a lucky one for somebody. Thank you, dear. Would you wait right over here? We'll see you in just a minute, all right? Because we have something nice for you, too. Let's see who's going on a treasure hunt this morning. This morning, Miss Gertrude Shaper. S-C-H-A-P-E-R, 252 Preston Street, Pontiac, Michigan, is going on a treasure hunt. And Miss Shaper has selected chest number 18. So, Miss Shaper, if that $3,900 in cash should be in chest number 18, we'll be happy to send you $3,900 in cash. Good luck on your treasure hunt. Sergeant Rivera will now open the safe, and for the first time, we'll find out where the money is. Where do you folks think it is? Why are we find out? Three, six, fourteen, nine, two, eight. Where do you think where it is in the morning? Here it is. How about that? It's been weeks. No one has found this cash, boy. Here it is. $3,900 in cash. <laughs> oh, this money is piling up. I'm sorry, Miss Gertrude Shaper of 252 Preston Street, Pontiac, Michigan. Wasn't the number you picked. You picked chest number 18. As you see, the money isn't three. But since we did choose your card, we would like to send you a special treasure anyhow. Bob Williams, what are we going to send Miss Shaper this morning? Well, Miss Shaper, we're very happy to send you this Bell portable sewing machine. It only weighs four pounds, and yet it answers all the sewing demands formerly filled by heavy, large machines. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to enter our home viewers' contest, send those cards to Treasure Hunt, Post Office Box 445, New York 46, New York. All right, my friends, is that clear? Get those cards in as quickly as you can so you can go on your treasure hunt. And incidentally, no one has found the cash treasure this morning, so we're going to add $100 to this treasure chest tomorrow. That's right. We'll continue adding $100 to this treasure chest every day until someone finds it. So tomorrow, there will be $4,000 in cash in this treasure hunt. 
uh, in this treasure chest. So tune in, you may see someone win it on this stage, or by gosh, one of you watching us right now, one of you home viewers may very well win it, and I sure hope so. Charlotte, come here, sweetheart. We want to thank you for helping us out. Hey, look at these beautiful dolls we have here. You like those? These are the Betsy McCall dolls and three of Betsy's very own outfits. And look, we even have something for your family. It's right over there. We know it's a little too heavy for you to carry. This is the practical electric vaporizer to the entire family. Eight hours of soothing relief. All righty, sweetheart? Thank you very much, Charlotte, for helping us out. Thank you, dear. Well, that's about it for this morning. We hope you had some fun. Have a good... Take it easy here in the east. Boy, we've got another snowstorm here. Fine day before spring this is. But all right, take good care of yourselves. We hope to see you tomorrow.